Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Sword Coast Legends. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ever closer to that. What can I do for you? Well, that end result, the conclusion of the game, storyline, all that stuff. But I think that is still quite a ways off. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's get Larithar to start doing Laritharian things and see what he can find. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on on the channel right now. I'm feeling a pretty good place about it. Our views have dropped off drastically, like... 60 per not 60 like 40 percent of our views are just gone um over the last couple months i'm not sure why but it's just slightly odd man well kind of sucks but i did have a month there where i was actually yes. really light on content so it does make sense that that would happen oh we're doing hidden dagger huh Well, that's okay. I'm gonna probably pull in a whole bunch of people that are gonna be super angry. Now that didn't actually affect us too badly there. Interesting battle. But yeah, our views have dropped. Uh, we were essentially we were sitting around like 167,000 to 170,000 views a month for a good portion, like six to eight months. It was it was good. It was kind of fluctuating fluctuating around that area. And then we had Something two months where do. we shot up over 200,000. It was really, really good months. Uh, it was like uh, top three months for me. Uh, two so of the top like three. I had one month that was better than that. So really, really, really good. And then I had a we, you know a month where I was super busy with work and I was still trying to adapt. And I did not get a lot of content right. out. And for that, I am sorry. But yeah, uh, we kind of nose dove pretty hard there once that happened. And... Well, we haven't been able to write to ship. It's been pretty bad the last few, uh, last couple months. So I've I've definitely revamped and re-upped my content quite a bit, if you say and so. I'm having a blast playing. Like I I should be like horribly sad or disappointed or whatever by this you know turn of events, but can't say that I am. Like I'm still pretty fired up. I'm having a really good time. I'm enjoying the time I get to actually spend with you guys. It's no yeah. longer like. All right, well, it's a full day's Sounds worth like of work, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, I got done working. I relaxed for a few minutes, and then I hop in, I start doing recording, and it's just, it's good. I, I really, I feel really good about it. I enjoy getting to spend that time with you guys that I didn't always get to spend. It's just, yeah, like I said, just really, really good stuff. And I'm in a good place oh, mentally gosh. and everything else, so I'm hoping that stuff picks up. Even if it doesn't, you know what? It's, all, it's right. all good. This is like a, a little bit of a reward or a bonus for me, if you will. Be able to do this stuff, so I'm definitely looking forward to it, and I hope you guys, you know, you guys get some enjoyment out of it. That's definitely one of the top parts of the reasons why I do this stuff, is so you guys are entertained and you get some enjoyment out of it. If you guys are all super bored all the time, you hated everything I did, that would suck, and I would just feel like I'm just completely failing you at every single half attempt regard, so. The fact that you guys do get some enjoyment, and there's been a lot more uh, comments back and forth lately, too. I know. Like I said, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty positive, despite the numbers being what they are. Which is weird, because numbers did dictate my mood quite a bit for a very long period of time. So, uh, Our growth as far as subscribers and all that stuff, not super great either. But you know what? Like I said, I'm feeling positive. It's not getting to me, and that's all that really matters. Anyway, I just wanted yeah, to yeah. touch base with you guys with that. Sounds I've been like wanting to do a video, and I'm going to try to do it over the sure. next day or two. I actually have a three-day uh, off period from work, which is nice. So that's going to give me a lot of time to actually get some stuff done. In fact, I almost ran out of hard drive space before I started recording this yeah, today. Yeah. So I had to make sure I uh, cleared up uh, some stuff out of my recycle bin and whatnot. But I'm going to actually have to uninstall stuff by the time this weekend is over. Because I'm getting that much accomplished, which, again, I'm elated. I'm over the moon. This is what I needed, to. So. The little bit of extra break what is it you require? Um, uh, from what my you? other job. Sounds you know, like getting the time to actually uh, wind down a Your little service. bit while still not There's having to sacrifice getting stuff done to wind. It's just, it's so good right now, guys and girls. I'm happy. I'm happy. I wanted to share that with all of you guys. I know I'm not always the happiest person, so when I am happy, I want to share of it with course. you guys. I want to bring joy to you. So let's let's uh, let's focus on the game a bit yes. more. I mean, this is all kind of par for the course. Right. Sneak around, look for stuff. But you know, it's fun. It's okay. We know there's a room full of baddies over there. 
Uh, we still have yet to find the black candle or the crystal jar. That chest looks like it's probably trapped, Yo. but not guaranteed. And this could have a guy inside of it. Oh, it's sealed shut. That's if you interesting. Say so. All right, our creature disappeared, dissipated, whatever you want to say. This one requires yeah, a key yeah. to unlock. Is that right? Well, that's okay. Here's another thing that I don't think a lot of people realize, and I haven't really made mention of it in quite some time, but I believe the campaign and pretty much all aspects of the game are playable in co-op. That's the thing that a lot of people overlook or don't realize. So if you wanted a, a system like this, like I feel like this game would play better in co-op than a lot of the older games if you could do co-op, like Neverwinter Nights, Baldur's Gate, and stuff like that. I feel like this would do better in co-op right. because, like I said, it's almost like one of those games, yeah. but a little bit lighter. The story isn't as heavy. Bio there isn't as many people to talk to. That just kind of slows down the game and everything else. So, it would, be, you know, you could actually hold the focus of multiple people a bit better. At least that's my thought process. I mean, I could be completely, totally... Oh my goodness, we insta-gibbed him. Did you see that? That was amazing. Hey, you pulled him away from my attack. I can't believe we insta-gibbed that guy. That was absurdity at its finest. We just destroyed those guys. They had no chance whatsoever. I feel really good about this. Things are starting to look up, I'm not gonna lie. Like, there was a time, too, where I was a bit worried about this title, specifically, that I would not be able to handle things. I would just get crushed, get wrecked, what have you. And, yeah, there was a few moments where I was looking a little so. bit bad, but I, I feel like, like we've come around quite a bit. Like, things have turned in our favor quite a large amount, and we're feeling pretty good in Understanding Loop, another intelligence one. I think we'll keep the rings that we have. It is nice to see that we are getting jewelry, though. I mean, we hadn't had much. And now we have a bunch, I mean, they're all low tier, I right? Like, so. plus ones here, plus ones there. But, again, it's better than what we had before. Oh, for a minute there, I thought it was like a, a belt of giant strength. I was like, yeah! But no, it's just a potion. Still, it's fine. And again, I keep saying, and I haven't done it yet, and I apologize, folks. Sounds I like keep saying bomb. that I want to go through my inventory yes. and add a lot of the temporary items to the bar. And I just, I keep not doing that. And I apologize. At some point, I need to, I like... You know, like potions of strength and whatnot. It's just something that I don't do. So whenever we go into battle, we have that little bit of edge. That little bit of bonus yes. that we didn't have before. It would be nice. Alright, I'm going to go throw some food on you. Uh, did we level again? We did not. How close are we? We're not really close either. Only level 6. I feel like we're much further along. Alright. But again, in games like this, the levels do so much more. Like, gaining yeah. six levels in most games is not if a big deal, but so. getting to, like, level 10 or 12 or something in this game is, like, How may I the say? end game. It's, like, the, the end-all, be-all, like, holy cow, we've arrived type situation. Get ready. Oh, you did it again. I hate him so much. He is so hard to control. <laughs> Alright, let's get you to back up. I want you down. Just to give you. Nope. Can't quite do that. Can I help? All right. Can we just put all these guys to sleep? Like, there's no reason we can't. Right? And all we have to deal with deal with is one at a time. And that's not even difficult. I feel like the dog just died for some unknown reason. Like, just, the dog was just like. Bruh, bruh. Maybe it was left over from another battle? I don't think so. I thought I just summoned... Whoa. No, maybe it was. You know what? I think it was left over from another battle. My apologies. Sounds like a like I, like, I felt like I just summoned that, but I guess not. Alright, All right, what do we got in here? Another chest. You see that secret door, right? Uh, n yes. I didn't at first, but yes, I do. Chest, band of dabbles or dobbles or whatever. The dabbler move up here and there's a chest we're gonna open the chest there's a cord really that's what you're bringing to the table sure sure well it looks like the north thing isn't gonna be what we need either which is a bit unfortunate unless there's something in the like final room here that we move to but I have my doubts oh boy do I have my doubts 
So Elix is a lot of fun, by the way, guys yeah, and gals. Yeah. If you haven't played it or any of Piranha Bytes games, uh, you're missing out. Granted, not everyone's gonna like Sounds it. Like a plan. It's it's definitely not for everybody, and what it does it have want? its its fair it fair share yeah. of issues and problems and little things that it, it you service. know that it brings to the table, or I say it, like the developers right bring away. to the table. Of course. They have a specific and certain way they like to do things, and it again, it's it's not for everybody. But if you like one of their games, there's a pretty good chance you're going to like all or at least most of their at games. Once. Like, I played the Risen, I played Risen 1, obviously the first Risen game, and I loved it. I thought it was great. It had its moments where it was a bit overly challenging, I felt. And, you know, there were some choices I made that I was immediately regretting. Uh, it definitely was one of those games you wanted to save scum your way through. But, if you didn't, you were rewarded by, you know, not having that feeling like, yeah, well, anytime something went bad, I just kind of backed oh, out and so on and so forth. So, it definitely had that feel because so many things happened so quickly and with so much, you know, possibility of it going really bad really quick. Why, why are you here? Get down there. Anyway, long story short, really enjoyed Risen 1. Really good game. Really liked it. If you guys haven't played it, you're missing out. Um, but again, it's not for everyone. So. And then I really, 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 trap really... Ahead. Haha, there is a trap. That's why I like to do stuff like that. Anyway, I really, 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 really enjoyed Risen 3. Yeah, yeah. Though, it seemed like the way they were advertising it, the way I read about it and everything else... That Risen 3 was going to return back to the way uh, Risen 1 was. Because Risen 2 took a step away from the medieval magic and all that stuff. And it was... Ooh, what's this? Breakneck boots. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it was more focused on... Let's see how to explain it. More focused on... It was just basically away from medieval and it was focused on pirates. Yes. Which is fine, but wish. it was such a like a departure from the first game that I had played it immediately after the first game when I'd beaten it on my own I started playing the second one right away and I did not like it at all because it was so different the controls felt different they felt they felt wrong to be honest and I just I really struggled with it but when I played three after finishing one or even while I was in the middle of playing one uh, well, for the channel every other crypt in the graveyard and, what's, what's one, one more, more? I, li I like the way you think Hamid I like the way you think Anyhow, um, I, I adapted like the three much better. It just it felt better in all ways. I started playing two again, and I feel like I can probably handle right. getting through two. But regardless, I enjoyed, you know, all the Piranha Bytes games. I played the first Gothic. I tried playing the second one. The controls are too janky for me right now. It'll be one that I'll have to actually play for a bit, get used to, yeah. and then I'll be able to enjoy it a bit more. But no, seriously, guys, check it out. If you are oh, a fan answer. of, like, action RPGs, you should definitely enjoy that. Oh, now, Larathar, I'm not going to let you be crazy. I'm going to control you so. like I do. And here it goes. Did you need something? All right, Hobbit, you have summoned a Done. wolf, okay. Actually, I wasn't sure what you had summoned right away there, but that's okay. I think I'm going to have you put that area to sleep. Oh, and he hit one. That was a really fast cast. My apologies. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is... Oh, Larithar, what are you doing, buddy? I feel like you're doing some roll move and I can't really... Yup, that's exactly what you're doing. So I can't really cast the spells that I want to cast because you're doing that. Okay, Larithar... He's gonna have to. Oh, and I attacked the one that was sleeping. Because of course I did. I will let the dog handle that. And I'll let the spell work. Eh, it's fine. We dealt with all this stuff. Yep, anyway, I'll stop babbling about other things, guys. Guys, I'm just. I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't help it. I'm excited. I can do that. I'm excited about just about everything at this point. Stuff I'm playing on the channel, stuff that's going on in real life. I just. Exciting times. Ah. Uh, it's good to be happy every so often, right? Am I right, folks? Am I right? Sounds it's good like to be happy one. every so often. Now, if you're always happy all the time, yeah, I'll par for the course. All right. Probably doesn't mean as much. But if you're kind of meh most of the time, or just like, eh, you know, just kind of average, when you're happy, you're really happy. You're fired up. It's good stuff. And my if wife has just so. messaged me, letting yeah, me know yeah. that she is going to be Sounds at home like soon, and she's bringing me delicious, delicious treats. I'm not sure exactly what, but... 
I'm looking forward to it either way. It's gonna be fun. Well, all right. I get to I get to engorge myself slightly with giant amounts sure. of food and yummy stuff. If you say so. Well, yeah, yeah. for a day or two, I Sounds guess. Like a What's this? There's a stone nope. torch. Nothing in here. I can take a fiery Fine. crystal. Right. Toka Flynnbar's sarcophagus. Well, that sounds impressive. Sure. I don't know what that's going to do. Probably really bad stuff, or maybe really good stuff. I don't know. We're getting into the room, though. And hopefully we don't die a horrible death. Or maybe we will. I don't know. You see a message carved on the tomb. Here lies Toka Filinbar forever Ezra's. Huh. Neat. Not useful in any way, shape, or form. But it was neat, I guess. If you're into that sort of thing. Alright, let's see what's beyond the door over here. Chances are there will be hor horrible things. Yeah, yeah. There's that awful, awful sound of the animal despawning. I have perceived the bone pile, which has a numbing band. Let's one to all of our poison damage Sounds that we do. Like I don't believe there is actually much. All right. Well, I guess Sam a little disappointed sure. there was nobody in here. All right, is there a jar yeah. available to me? Is there? 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 No. Yes. No. Maybe. Sort of. No. Maybe. No. Sounds like a plan. Apparently, there's not. So yeah, yeah, right. good stuff. I, I can't wait till we level again so I can, I, I'm thinking I'm going to do it, I might not, and I don't remember if there was a level requirement, but I, as soon as I can I want to max out my so. ability to search. Yeah, yeah. That way I move at full speed instead of the, I mean, we're definitely doing better than we were early Sounds on in the like game, but not, so not quite as good as we were, <laughs> not quite as good as we could be. If uh, we were just walking around without being, you know, in detection mode or in stealth. Stealth is now at full speed, but detection mode not. Come on. It's going to be the last place we go, isn't it? Right away. It's going to be through this door. What can I do for you? Oh, you can walk slowly over here, buddy. How close are we now to leveling? Still a ways away. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Think this door is trapped by any chance? Sounds like a plan. I'm gonna say no, right. but I don't know for sure. sure. Well, I'd say this looks it's different, but it really that. doesn't. This looks pretty much more to the same. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have millions of potions. Sounds. We should never ever die or have any challenge whatsoever, especially considering how little I've used up to this point. Like, we should be set for life, pretty much. There's so many greater healing potions and all sorts of other random things. Need some up. Okay, well... Alright. It's gonna have to be in this corridor, or I don't know, do we go and... Can we buy or sell or something? I, I don't... Huh. If you say so. Well, I don't know where we're gonna find a crystal jar or a black candle. Maybe we need to read the journal. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Are, are we still in Act One? I feel like we are. To the dead city, you found a crypt with markings of the ritual in it. You find a crystal jar. Oh, it's located in the apothecary shop. Probably should have checked that. And then the black candle and occult rituals. Okay, well, we Bye. now know where we need to go. We just basically wasted a whole bunch of time clearing these things out. But at the same yes. time, ladies and gentlemen, Whoa. it's not really that much of a waste because I would have wanted to do it anyway because we cleared out everything that we need to clear out and it's all good. But still, we were searching for something. We didn't find it. Is it a waste? I don't know, maybe? Maybe it's a waste. Probably not, though. Pretty sure my mic was on that whole time and it wasn't muted, because if it was and wasn't, and uh, I'm going to be super sad. I went to fidget in my chair and I decided I was going to mute for a second there to do it, and ha <laughs> boy, howdy, it didn't work. The mute key looked like... I, I felt like I pressed it, but it didn't look like it actually did anything. Alright. There's a residence. Uh, quickest way back to town. These are just a bunch of residents, aren't they? Residence there, and residence there. 
All right, map. Oh, oh, neep, 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 neep. There it is. All right, it's world travel. We'll get our butts back there. We'll get the two things from the marketplace, and then we'll head back here. And then I guess we turn it in, or we just teleport straight down to the other place and call it a, call it a day, I guess. We're about out of time with for the episode, but I think we uh, I think we can finish this. I think we can finish this just fine, and it will not be a big issue for us. So let's go venture forth into the real world, into the marketplace, which I guess we'll just head there, and it's fine. Travel. So apothecary and the occult is actually at Miranda. I should have gotten that before I left. Darn it. My apologies, folks. So we'll just teleport back. It's it's fine. Oh, we're getting waylaid. Okay. Oh, boy. That's actually much more terrifying than what we've dealt with in the past. Not a big fan of that. Okay. What is um, it you require? Let's go into our potions. And let's see what we have. We have... Um, I'm sure we have something. We do have a rage potion, but that's going to make me weaker in many regards, which I don't want. Come on. Give me a potion of something that's, like, useful in other ways. And Really? You know what? I'm just going to eat this. I'm just going to go. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to eat it. It's going to be fine. Yes. I'm just going to spawn a dude. Okay, and then we're going to go and we're going to cast that spell. Larathar is going to walk over yeah, this yeah. way. Scytherin says, let's do this. Let them come. Alright, I want the cleric. That is my target of choice right now. So I want that cleric to come over here. I want what Hamet to be all like, hey, guess what, buddy? You're gonna have real bad times. Maybe maybe we'll have real bad times there. Yes. Larathar is gonna like do other person. stuff. Oh At Hamid. Service. I'm... Ah! Yeah, that hurt a little bit. It's alright. Yes. Lydia's got this. Don't even worry about it. The wolf is fine, everybody's okay. Do that. The cleric needs By to die you. immediately. I'm not sure how that's going to happen. That? Hobbit, what in the yep. blue blazes are you doing in there, buddy? Do not pass go. Do not stand in the middle of bad things killing you. That is not the yes. ideal situation. I feel like our sound is bugged right now. Not sure how I feel about that other than not great. Alright, the cleric's going to go down. The cleric is down, and... Some healing would be nice. Not much left to do. I don't I know why uh, why Lydia is having such a hard time with stuff. Want some more? You will pay. But we've done it. This will help. Oh, guess we won that one. We did it. We're heroes. Lay on hands. I'm here to help. All right, let's chuck some food at you, and what I'm feeling pretty good about that. Do we? There's nothing to loot. Look, if they're gonna attack us, the least they can do is like give us some equipment after that. I feel like that was just totally not worth it. Yes, still want to go to the market district. Please take me there. And I think what we'll do is we'll get to the market district. I will head into the apothecary place, which I think is the potion place. And yeah, yeah, we'll get that. And then we'll probably break off the episode. Or I'll head there and we'll get inside. And once we're inside, I'll break off the episode there. And then I will sell everything. And in the following episode, next episode, we'll get the item. We'll head back to Miranda, we'll get the stuff from her, and then we'll move on with all of our wonderful, fun stuff. So that's the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream moving forward. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves up to this point. We're going to continue on until the bitter end. That's right, till the bitter end. I feel like... Yeah, there it is. I say, I feel like the potion shop should be like right here somewhere. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.